Good morning, good morning, good morning. I was just jumping on really quick. Build me an audience, Facebook. Build it. Build it big. As you can see here, I'm in my car doing my videos. I haven't been on for a moment. Been really busy. How are you guys liking my colors? Hi, Nicole. Hi, Amanda. Say hi if you're on. I just thought I'd jump on really quick and let you guys know that I'm loving my Lottie collection. Could you tell? I wore it on my eyes. I wore it on my eyebrows. Eyeliner. My lipstick. And my blush. I wore the whole Dream On collection as my look today. A little contour on the side. A little blush. But I was just jumping on here because um, I've been thinking about so much on how my gratitude and my gratefulness I am of where I'm at right now. <sighs> and they always think like, they always tell me, Tina, you're such, you know, a great person. You're so nice. You're so helpful. But you know what? Sometimes I don't see that in myself at all. I feel like I don't help enough. That I'm not doing something that I should be doing. And I just think sometimes I can't even explain it. Like some people, sorry, some people like it's just so, I don't know how to explain it. But I just want to be like, you know, what I'm grateful for myself is that if someone asks me to be there for them, that I'm there for them and that I help them. Um... Hi, Nina. So I think with that being said, it leads to what I'm grateful for. Um, being able to breathe this morning, to be able to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to rock this day, even though I woke up. For example, I had a headache on Friday and I just could not knock it out. I took aspirin. I took a leave. Nothing worked. But then I thought about it and I was just like, I'm really grateful that I have this headache because it's making me think not to think about the headache. And I just feel like when I feel that I'm grateful for breathing and doing everything that I've had in my past experiences, um, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And people think like, oh, you know, you're all into your kids. Well, what else should I be into, you know? I'm into important things, um, and that's being with my family, that's making my businesses work, that's me coming to work every day, and surrounding myself with great people, and people, I don't think people really understand that when you have a business, sometimes your family and your business come first, and then you can't do anything else, because you're trying to make everything work. And I think that's where I'm at right now, where I feel that I need to work my business and be with my family so that I could provide for my family because of my why, like my family, right? So that's a couple of things that I wanted to share with people um, to let you guys know, like I am truly grateful for a lot of things in my life, for my experiences that I had in my past were not like all great, like I will not ever say that my past is amazing because honestly it was rough for me like people don't even understand and I don't I like I sometimes I feel like I needed to go into that um, so people better understand me why I am the way I am for being so grateful and being so helpful to others uh, so that's kind of like where I think like why I'm so grateful because for my past experiences it made me be the person that I am today um, and that's just being married previously 
and being divorced, that was like very hard for me. You know, I was that typical person that I was like, oh, I'm going to get married and I'm going to stay married forever. But things happen. And so you think, oh, never is going to happen again for me because I might not find that person. And I think like, oh, then I found Sean and then I had my two babies. And babies and my family, Sean, they mean the world to me. But people think like, oh, I don't want to come out. I don't want to do things. Um, but it's not because of that. It's because I cherish the little times that I have because I work my corporate job also. And I work probably 10 hours a day for, with that. And then by the time I get home from them, from here, um, I'm actually needing to spend time with my kids and my family and I have very minimal time so I just feel that I'm grateful for me being able to get up this morning and breathe and wearing my Lottie collection you know I'm really digging the collection but I'm really grateful for everything that has happened to me meeting the people that I meet I've been meeting so many new people that I'm loving it and I just feel that you know, people will always be, people, there will be always people that come and go into your life. So, um, that's just what I've been grateful for. Um, the people that have stayed, um, in my life that I'm really, truly appreciative of that. So I don't know. I just feel like today was a day that I needed to tell people that I'm very grateful for what I've been going through. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Jen. Um, and some people might think like, why do you work this? Why do you do your businesses? Why do you do this? I do it because I really, truly enjoy it. Like I truly, really enjoy working with Limelight. Like I can't even explain it. Like I wake up and I'm just like, what can I do for my team? What can I do for them? And I lead them the way the best I can. And Sometimes it might seem like, for me, like, sometimes I think, like, oh, my God, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't. But at the same time, like, it makes me strive further to even accomplish what I've been accomplishing. So a little bit of, you know, I feel like I talk and I'm just like, oh. Um, but that's really what I'm grateful for, like, everything, like, People always say, what are you grateful for? And I'm like, for breathing. <laughs> and then I say, no, I'm really grateful for my past experiences because for those experiences that has happened to me, it has made me a stronger person. It's made me a more um, valuable person for what I am today. Um, yeah, people might think like, Tina, you're so crazy. Um, I am, but it's okay because that's just me. Um, you know, I just like, I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe I should come on again and delete this because I just feel like people are like, what are your past experiences? And I'm just like, um, I think being married, divorced and finding someone and having my beautiful kids. And then sometimes I feel like if Vanessa, like literally, like I just, I don't even know what to expect sometimes. I come on here and I'm just like, nobody's going to watch. Nobody's going to, you know, people are going to be like, oh my God, this girl, what is she talking about? But it is what it is. I'm just, you know, on here and I love what I do with Limelight. Um, the whole empowering, even with my girls with Sensi, like, I just feel like, I'm so busy with that and I love it. Like, I love being able to help people. Like, I want people to come to me and be like, you know, help me solve this problem. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. You're gonna make me cry. Like, it's Monday and, ah. Did it, I don't know, I'm just being sensitive, I guess. And that's the thing that I think I need to realize that I'm a strong person. Ugh. And because of my past experiences, they've only made me stronger. Ah. 
Vanessa. Um, so I just think like because of my past experiences I'm like the person I am today because I'm strong. I'm able to handle a lot of things and people don't realize that. And I just feel like the people that I feel like I've been there for like whenever like I'm not the type to call you to tell me my, you're my problems oh my god Vanessa and so people always think like oh nothing's wrong with her nothing's wrong with her but it deep down inside sometimes like I just want that person to be like Ugh. we all sometimes just need that person like you want to talk to but you don't because you don't want people to judge you for doing something that you love to do like and that's with me with direct sales like I know people always think like oh why do you do it like you're not spending time with your family but I do it because I can empower other people and I can help people pay for gas I can help people pay their rent I can help people do a lot of other things <sighs> but it is what it is like people will watch this and be like why is she crying on live like but people don't understand me like they think um a strong person and I don't have feelings and I do and that's the thing that people don't understand oh, like I'm using my sweater okay Vanessa for this old ugly cry thing and and that's what I'm grateful for is that because of my past experiences what I am the person I am today I will totally act like nothing is wrong with me I will not reach out to anybody and I just tell people like and it's true it's not and that's the thing. It's like people will not under ever understand. And they'll just be like, oh, nothing's wrong with her. Like, okay, let's make a phone call to her. Like, not even that. Like, sometimes it's, you think anything I do, anything I say, it's going to be a bad thing. But some people don't understand. It and I can't make people understand. And I'm learning that as I get into this business. But that's the thing that I have right now. And I think that's what it is. It's like, I'll reach out to people. I'll reach out to people before they even know anything is wrong. And I don't judge people because for something, sometimes it's, sometimes it's just like, what's the purpose? Like, and I think like everybody needs that person to talk to, but you don't need that person to judge you. And that's just some things that people don't understand. And I'm a strong person by all means. I'm like fucking strong. Sorry to cuss. But I'm really a strong person. I will say hi to you and keep it moving. Or I will just keep it like on the down low and not say anything. And smile and just be like nothing's wrong you know. But deep down inside I'm like burning up and being like oh my god I want to talk to somebody. But I don't because that's one thing that I'm like I think that's my biggest thing is that. I need to learn that it's okay that I'm doing what I'm doing and people not supporting. Because you know what? People will never support you because they don't want to see you above them. And some people, really, like, I have to go into work and I'm going to cry like this. My whole ugly cry because of Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa. Uh, um, but luckily I have my RCMA on and it's okay. <laughs> um... But I just think, like, I think that's the thing that has been bugging me is that I've been working my butt off and I do a lot of things. And you don't even see that one person that it could be just anybody like that one person that you're like, oh, but the main person that supports me is my family. And that's all that matters. You know, as long as my family supports me, I'm super excited about that because they know where I'll be in the long run. And I've been so emotional lately. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of the holiday. I don't know if it's because I feel like um, 
I reached out to a few people and I'm just like, oh, like, what is it that, that I'm not doing? Like, I'm just a phone call away. Like, okay, but people will post and I'll say this, people will post crazy stuff. But the moment I post my business, they're like not liking it, but they love drama. So I don't understand that whole thing. Like, why don't people support people's businesses versus drama? Like me, I see drama. I'm like, oh, bypass. Sorry. Next. Um, and I just don't understand that with people. And some people love that. And I think that's one thing that I'm so grateful for that when I see that, I will not entertain it. And that's just me, like, venting, going crazy. Like, I will not entertain drama. You bring drama to my page, you'll get deleted, okay? Um, I just feel like some things, like... And I just... Anybody, you post your business, I'm going to support it. Like, if I can, I will buy whatever I need to buy for you. Um, and you don't have to buy anything for me. Just like my pages. But at the same time, don't put me down that I'm doing direct selling and that's all I'm doing and that's all I care about. Um, because that's not the case. And, you know, I just had an ugly cry right now. Sorry, guys. I never will do that again. Like, oh, that's so weird. I think I'm just so passionate about what I'm doing right now that people don't understand. And if I explain it, maybe they'll understand. But when I try to explain it, they still don't understand. <laughs> people in direct sales probably will understand me where I'm coming from. <laughs> being in the business um but yeah that's kind of like what I've been like thinking about like a lot is that I'm grateful for my past experiences to bring me to this experience and meeting the people that I'm meeting sorry um yes I will girl but I can play music on Facebook because it might get deleted like I, I should probably delete this right um Sorry. Um, but yeah. So I'm done with my ugly cry. But I still look fabulous, right? Do I still look fabulous? <laughs> I just, I guess I had a moment. Like, people, like, people will judge you for things that you're doing. But in the long run, I'm a strong person. So I will not ever let anybody bring me down like that. Like, I just think, like, the people that you want them to support you. Like, they won't support you because they don't know how to support. Maybe that's what it is. They don't know how to support. That's probably the thing that you want them to support you in and just be there. But at the same time, they'll be the first people, first people to be like, oh, no, I never did that. Oh, yeah, they don't pay my rent. They don't pay my car. <laughs> no, they don't. And so that's the thing. It's like they don't realize, like, when you offer an opportunity to them, that's the biggest other thing is that they think you should hand things to them. And I will hand you a paper. <laughs> I'll hand you a piece of paper and you can go ahead and write your goals and we'll work your goals together. So <laughs> that's the thing with me. I'm sorry. Um, so, um, ah, so I just think a lot of things have been like building up and then me coming on here telling you guys what I'm grateful for. And then, um, I started shedding some tears, some almost ugly cry. Like what the hell was that? Um, <laughs> but I'm going to go into work and make it a great day and just know that anything that I do. Um, all I have to worry about is myself and my family. And I'll let you guys go. Have a good day. Bye.